Hey there, it's Stephanie from Janku. Today I'm going to show you how to create drop shadow on your objects. So let's start with the square. I accidentally zoomed in there. Let's zoom back out. And I'm going to draw that square. So to create a drop shadow, I'm going to use a filter. And I'm going to go down on the filters menu to shadows and glows. And I'm going to select drop shadow. So there's all sorts of things you can do with the drop shadow. The easiest thing for me is to make sure to click this live preview and you can go ahead and play with the blur radius. The blur radius is essentially how much um, of the drop shadow is going to be. Um, so for instance, the radius is smaller here uh, for the drop shadow, but when you increase it, it spreads, uh, I guess it has a greater radius. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the only problem with increasing the blur radius I've found is that if the object has a boundary that's more constrained, when once you, once you apply it, so if I go here and apply it, oops, let's do that one more time. Get that live preview going and let's apply. If we take a look at what we have, you notice that a drop shadow should really blend or it, it shouldn't be so distinct like this. It just kind of looks like a gray square. So depending on how the shape is made, I guess if you were to draw something out that had a little bit more shape to it, Let's try this one more time. All right, let's do a live preview. So we have more space to work with, but notice that drop shadow is still, it's going up against this, um, I'm not exactly sure what you would call it, but uh, you don't, you don't it's, it's not going to give the appearance of a drop shadow. So keep that blur radius low. And if you notice, I've, lowered the radius and I've gotten this nice transition here, which is what we're going for. You can play with the horizontal offset. That'll change the positioning of the, the shadow and you can do the vertical. It'll go up and down with the, the drop shadow. And here you can play with how you want the shadow to be displayed. You can go from within the object, inner cutout, and shadow only where it just gets rid of the object and just shows the shadow but we're just going to keep it on the outside of the shadow we're going to um, let's see have the light displaying from the left so that would yield the shadow on the right and let's drop that shadow a little below the object and one other thing i'll say here is this object, you can kind of see the shadow underneath. And the reason why is because the fill is transparent. I'm going to increase that fill and that way now you don't see the shadow. So if I just deselect this, you see this hard line here? Just be very cognizant that that radius, if it's too large, it's going to hit up against that um, I guess the, the selection window and you don't want to do that because like I said it ruins the shadow effect. So it, what's cool about it is once you once you do the shadow you can actually manipulate the object and the shadow will adjust. And that pretty much concludes my tutorial on drop shadows. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for future tutorials, please leave a comment below. Thank you and tune in every Wednesday for a new Inkscape tutorial.